my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine. Life is good. I'm doing fine. Ten, gonna do it right and do it again. Yeah, I look into the sky with all the beautiful. Hello, this is Ramin, and welcome to another Vegas Pro uh, project uh, tutorial uh, video. A lot of the lot of our clients and our subscribers they always ask me how where do I get our special graphics and animation that we use in, in we incorporate into our videos and, and slideshows and uh, the answer is we do have a subscription to a variety of, of different uh, gr uh, graphic stocks and graphics walls that that we get them from there but majority of them we actually make our own graphics because it has to match what the what our project is about and as far as the timing and color and whatnot sometimes it doesn't match so we make our own what I want to show you is just to do a how to simple animation like a like a stopwatch like a time clock like a motion animation of certain things if you have a sports video or whatever if you saw the preview you can use it in a variety of ways and you can do it in circles you can do it in all number of things but the technique applies to to everything what I did, I went to on YouTube and downloaded a couple of um, clock faces. Okay, not a problem. So I bring this thing in my timeline and I put it on the top, and you can't see it because all of those uh, the, the the clock bars they are black. Since our background Sony Vegas default is black, so you can see it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a white background. Just put it in there for now, so you guys. This is for the sake of so we can see what what we are doing. So now we have this background and we have this clock face or whatever you want to call it, which is, okay, it's fine. It doesn't do anything. It's just a picture. And then what we want to do, I'm just going to bring a, an, a blue, a cyan layer and put it over here, okay, right underneath of it. Now what we want to do, we want to make it into a circle to fit in inside of our circle. So go into your video effects and go into a cookie cutter. Quick Cutter is a very, very powerful tool. It has so many applications. Once you guys get to get to know how to use it and manipulate it, uh, the possibilities are endless, especially those gamers that you edit your own videos. You can do a number of things, and I'll show you that maybe in the future uh, videos, tutorials. Anyway, I, I have this one. It says circle with the center, okay? So I bring that one, and I drop it on top of my cyan layer, okay? So by default, since, since I picked this one, circle over the center, it already has a size already which is there in there. So you can re re resize it to make it this big, bigger than your small, or make it much, much smaller. So in this case, we're gonna bring it here, okay? Which is fine, we'll just leave it there. And that now what we're gonna do, we wanna animate this thing. I mean, this is just, again, these are all solid, there's no movie, there's no footage, there's no motion into this thing. So then I go to transitions. Transitions, uh, Vegas Pro has got again tons and tons of stuff in there. One of them is called Clock Face. Clock Face is normally, as you see, it goes this way, Clock Face, which is clock, or, or it goes counterclockwise. So in this case, we want to use uh, clockwise. And bring it, when you bring it on your top of your uh, footage or in your track, you don't see it, you see it, the little stop sign in there. That means this is a transition. That means it either goes on this end or on this end. So you can't put it in the middle of it. So bring it to the beginning of your thing and you see your mouse changes and just drop it there. So now if you go back, you remember we had the cyan, now cyan is gone. Now what it does, what this clock face does, it's gonna show it and get to that. Now the timing of this thing, this is uh, two seconds. So if you want to make it uh, faster, so like every rotation is one second. So bring this, drag this thing, bring it to one second right there. Okay. And now if you look at this thing, it continues, it finishes as the, its rotation, 360 degree clockwise rotation in one second. Okay. Which is great. Now you have, you have something, you have some motion. You have the clock face and you have this motion. Now let's, let's animate the top part too. Remember we did a clockwise, now let's go to counterclockwise and just bring this one again. It won't work, you can put it only at the beginning or at the end of your footage. So drop it at your beginning of footage. Remember this was counterclockwise, okay? So now you have two of them. One it goes clockwise, one is go counterclockwise. And we set one of them to one second, so in one second that guy is going to finish his rotation and the other one is going to finish it in two seconds. So again, if you want to make it to one second, remember we put a marker there at one second, bring this guy to one second. So now you have both of them, 
they start and they end to one second. This is cool. That's fine. Okay, now you can you can expand on that again. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a, a orange, uh, just a solid color. I'm going to put it on top of this thing. Again, go to your video effects, grab a cookie cutter again, and then drop it on your new orange one. Now this is going to replace it. By default, since the blue one was the same size and this thing is the same, so it's just going to barely show it because we made some modifications. So what you can do, you can bring this one to this one or, or what you can do, go back to your blue guy and then make your blue guy a little smaller. So it gives you like a, like a border. You can put a border in there, but, but this is, that's for different purpose, okay? So now you got three. Okay, now let's animate this guy too again. Go to transition, and this time get another clockwise. Um, so get a counterclockwise. Um, put it in there, or, or, or vice versa, however, however it fits for you. But this counterclockwise is a blend in. You see like how it blends, it goes from solid, it's like a vignette, go down there. So once you now play it, you're gonna have a full animation. And let's bring this one to one second again. Now you got all of them to one second. So this is how you do your animation. So then uh, you can cut off the, the excess of, uh, over here and just make this to one second. A render thing in this thing to either a, a try, you can turn off the, the background, you can render this thing into a transparent um, alpha channel for like using it as a, as a lower third or just overlay it. Or if you put a black background on there, you can always use the add, change the compositing more to add to bring it in your video. So render this thing to um, MP4 or whatever the format that you use and call it a clockwise rotation, whatever it is, and then you're ready to go. So now on your next videos, you would have this thing as a clip, then you can resize it, of course. And you can resize it to smaller and bigger, however you want to do it. So I hope you enjoy this thing. I hope you use these techniques in your videos to make your modification and make your videos even look sharper than they already do. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So as soon as I have a free intro or a regular pro Vegas pro project or a tutorial, you would get a notification from YouTube that there is a new video uploaded so you guys can check it out. Again, thank you.